Today, I'll show you how to create seamless textures using Stable Diffusion Forge UI. From floral patterns to popular textures to fantasy surfaces, these will all tile seamlessly. Um, they're perfect for printing, games, and more. A seamless texture is an image or pattern that can be repeated or tiled across a surface without creating any visible seams or edges where the pattern repeats. It's like having a piece of wallpaper that you can extend infinitely without noticing where one piece ends and another begins. Um, it's commonly used in digital design, such as for backgrounds on websites, 3D models, or textures in video games. First, update the forge. A while back, the tiling didn't work, but now it does. Open the update to get the latest version. Then you can run the latest forge UI. Before we can generate patterns, we need to activate tiling in the interface. Go to the Settings tab, scroll down until you find Settings and UI, then scroll up. Here, if you click on Info, you can find the options you can add to the interface and their descriptions. We need the Tiling option. You can start typing Tiling and select it from the list. I will put it both on the Text to Image and Image to Image tabs. When you're ready, click Apply Settings and uh, Reload UI. You can find the new option just under Seed, named Tiling. You can activate it when you need it. You can also find it in the Image to Image tab. For all the examples, I'm using the Juggernaut XL model version 9. For the prompt, I'll start with Seamless Pattern, and then add details like what I want and the art style. I'll also use this negative prompt for all the tests. The sampling method is set to DPM++ Keras, with 30 sampling steps. It works with different widths and heights, but for this video, I'll go with 1024 pixels. Um, don't forget to activate tiling, then hit generate. Open the image, and on the top left, you have a grid icon that lets you preview the tiling. As you can see, the tiling is perfect. You just have to get a good pattern, and you don't have to worry about tiling. I'll try another prompt for um, a wood texture. The first try has a small defect here, so I'll try another one. I can see this one working well as a texture for a 3D model. Of course, you can get more creative with prompts to get more interesting patterns like I did here with a 3D render with fluid blooms, or you can create sci-fi backgrounds and textures for games or videos. It's not perfect all the time, but with the right prompt and seed, you can get some cool images. We all know that making a texture repeatable by hand is not that easy. To get a bigger image, you can lock or reuse the seed, then activate a hires fix. I use DAT upscaler with a denoise strength of 0.3, and I upscale by 2. If your video card can't handle it, try a lower value like 1.5 or less. After I hit generate, it takes a while, and you get double the size of that image. You can see here both images, one small and one big. Let's open the flower pattern in Photoshop. To use it as a seamless pattern in Photoshop, you can create a Photoshop pattern from it. Go to the Edit menu and select Define Pattern. Give it a name and then press OK to save it. Now let's say I want a big document with that pattern. I'll create a 3000 by 2000 pixel document. Then Go to the Layers menu and click on the black and white circle and select Pattern. You can select it from the list. Usually, it's the last one saved. From here, you can scale it or rotate the angle and press OK. You can also move it around. And when you like how it looks, press OK. So you have a big document that is not repeatable, but it has a nice pattern. Since it's a pattern fill, you can crop it to a different size and the pattern will fill the entire document. Let's close this and go back to the original pattern. I'll show you how to create a bigger document that is repeatable. Double click on the background um, to convert it to a normal layer. Then go to Image and select Canvas Size. Here, I'll set the anchor to the top left corner. Instead of pixels, I'll choose percent and put the value 200 for both width and height, then click OK. This will make room for the pattern, doubling the size. 
duplicate the layer with the pattern, then go to Select and choose All to select the entire document. With the Move tool selected, click on Align to the right to perfectly align it to the right side of the document. Since the size is doubled, it fits perfectly in that space. It's hard to find where the edge is now. Next, select both layers and duplicate them again. Select All once more and align them to the bottom. Right-click and flatten the image. Now you have a, a double size image that is repeatable with the pattern duplicated once. Now you can repeat this process again to double the size again, depending on how small you want the pattern to look. Right now, the resolution is set to 72 pixels per inch. If you want to print it, you might want to change it to a higher resolution. Go to Image and then Image Size. Here, make sure you uncheck Resample. This way, only the print size will change and it will not affect the pixels. Change 72 to 300 and uh, press. Okay, now you have a 300 pixels per inch image, as you can see here. You can also use these tileable textures in 3D software. For example, I have this cube in Maverick Render. I will apply this wooden texture to it, and as you can see, it looks great. I remember the time when I searched for certain types of textures and wasn't able to find what I wanted. Now, with AI, it's easy to generate textures for 3D models and games. For the next few minutes, I'll show you some prompts and the results I get using the same settings I showed at the beginning of the video. Under the image, you will see um, the prompt I used. Enough talking for today. I'll let you enjoy the results and leave a like while you watch it. Thank you and have a great day.